Hey, it's Ben here. So here in this quick tutorial, we're going to have a demo of a free plugin I've created of a dotted circle that animates itself on and off. Um, and basically this came from a question on a previous tutorial I'd done on animating circles on in Final Cut Pro 10. So before we begin, we're just going to grab a piece of video from Soundstripe uh, to use as our backdrop for our tutorial. So I'll just license this and we will download the 1080p version. And then once that's downloaded, we will pop that straight onto the timeline. So I'm just gonna use Shift and Z once we've got that on the timeline, uh, just so we've got a nice kind of video backdrop there. I'm gonna turn off these transform controls. We don't need those for this particular tutorial. So once we've got this down on the timeline here, we're gonna come up to our type and generators here. And I am gonna come into my titles. And I've created a couple of different shape animations here or shapes that you can use in Final Cut Pro 10. A lot of these are responses to questions that people have asked me. But we'll have a look at this dotted line that I've created. So essentially what happens here, and we'll just drop the transparency of the background back a bit just to push that back and play this through. So essentially we have a circle that animates on. I've added the kind of dashes in there. So you have this dashed line and then it animates off at the end. So with this, line if we select it you can see up in the published parameters we can change which way the animation happens at the beginning and the end um, we can choose whether we want that build in or build out so maybe you want your own transitions in there we can change the scale of this on screen so we can kind of control the size of it uh, the position of it it all works pretty easily with the on-screen controllers and then I've been playing around with some different kind of options for the, the gaps and the stroke width and all that kind of stuff. So we can change some of these options like the dash width, the dash height, and then the stroke width as well. And these all kind of work with and interact with each other. So as you change these different settings like the gap distance, then you'll get different results as you're working with things. So the dash width really controls the width of things. The stroke width uh, controls the overall stroke width. So if you want lots of points, then you can change that down and it will also affect the number of points there as well. And then the dash height will change the kind of height of these. And I've had some mixed results with different parts of this. So you can see the dash height is changing there, but it's not uh, quite holding as I would expect it to. So you'll need to have a little play around and you'll be able to get some good results with it. But let me know um, where it needs improvement and I'm gradually gonna improve this plugin as I get requests for it. So you can see we can get some different sizes and shapes for that circle as it draws on. We can also change the color for this, obviously. And that's pretty much it. So we have a animated circle, dash circle that will animate on and I had previously used things like the Brett FX power tools and um, to add things like an extrude to a couple of other tutorials that I've been doing recently and it works quite well with these circles here and I thought it'd be quite cool um, here as well so we can change the angle of those extruded lines we can change the distance of the extrude so we can have them nice and close or much much bigger um, so you can get some nice cool kind of different effects um, with these as well and we've got some different options for those bits of shading um, and stuff as well. But essentially this will now kind of animate on and we get some cool effects when we blend it and kind of mix it with other effects in Final Cut Pro 10, uh, depending on what you wanted to do. Actually the distance works well and then the back size of this will create some very cool effects because we can modify how that back size actually works. So you can see here with that dashed line, we start to get some very cool effects um, with this as well. The on-screen controllers um, you'll get mixed results with because it's still controlling the position of the circle. We can't grab some on-screen controllers when we've got a kind of mixture of them on screen, but that's just the angle one in the extrude. So you'll have to come up to the inspector to, to kind of modify that. And then, yeah, we can change the back size and tweak it. And then also, also kind of change the distance from the center, the back size, and uh, yeah, have a play around, have some fun with the, the dash line. And then also additional things like the power tools extrude. If you have any questions or have suggestions for new tutorials, then please do leave comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial and uh, good luck with your edits in Final Cut Pro.